Hello and welcome everyone to another inventright.com TV show. We have Mr. Stephen Key here. Here, I'm not sure where he is. You know, he's somewhere here. How you doing, Stephen? Andrew, I'm doing great and I'm glad we're doing these together because we've been doing them separately. Yeah. And you've been doing ones with Damon Callie and by yourself and I've been kind of doing just, you know, doing them. and. But we're kind of back doing it together, and I think people are really going to like it. Yeah, it's fun. I always like doing these with you. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about something that's so important, and I'm so glad we're talking about it today. Because, Andrew, we've been teaching and educating our students, our audience, entrepreneurs, inventors for the last 16 years on how to license their ideas. And we do it with these videos. Right? And we do it with books, one simple idea. We do it with another book, how to sell an idea with or without a patent. And one of the most important tools that we talk about is what? PPAs, or otherwise known as provisional patent applications. Man, we, we talk about those all the time. All the time. I think it's, I do. In fact, I even gave a, a talk at, at the USPTO just on this because it's so important, Andrew, and it's one of the the, we have these 10 steps that we've been teaching, and one of the steps is to, to protect an idea, to give yourself perceived ownership, because you don't have to file a patent, but you do need to file a well-written provisional patent application. Yeah. There you go. And, and what's really excellent about a provisional patent application, if you've ever looked at a patent, you're like, what the heck am I looking at? A provisional patent <laughs> application can be written in common English. Anybody can do it. In the 17 years Steve and I have been doing InventRight, we've never had a student that couldn't file a provisional patent application. People that don't have a GED to people that have a PhD, anybody can do this. But, but Steve, keep, Steve and I keep talking about provisional patents, but what, how do people do that, Stephen? I mean, how well, do people... it started... <coughs> See, Andrew, we, we teach our students how to do it if you become a student of InventRight. And they do a great job. Mm -hmm. And they get these deals because it's, it's done correctly. Yeah. So we finally said, look, we've we got to open the doors and let everybody have this ability, Andrew. It's just we have to because we've, we've been talking about provisional patent applications and people, the only options they have is find some software out there that's going to ask you six questions and it's not going to be very good. It's not going to give you the perceived ownership and it's not going to have enough guts to where a company's going to license an idea from you. So oh. we teamed up with a good friend of ours, Gene Quinn, patent attorney, law professor, writes the most popular law blog on the planet called IP Watchdog. And we said, Gene, look, we want to, we want to come together and create this program. We, we call it Smart IP by InventRight that helps people write a provisional patent application that truly has value, that has that perceived ownership in such a way that when a potential licensee sees it, that company you're submitting it to, that sees it, that it gets the deal done because we know how to get that deal done. And we know it has to be done correctly. So Andrew, how does Gene help with that? Well, what's really great is he, he walks you through step by step with little, it's a little video window and he walks you through each step telling you what to do, explaining it. So it's like you've got this personal patent attorney coach walking you through how to file a provisional patent application. And don't worry, it's not like a regular patent. Like, like I said earlier, it can be written in common English. Anybody can do this. But the guidance on it is so much better than Steve and I, maybe we're biased, but we think it's better than anything else that's out there. It really is. And it guides people through it. So the, gone are the days of saying, oh, you have to be an InventRight student in order to file a PPA. You're on your own. Now you can come on board and you can file a provisional patent using Smart IP by InventRight. And you don't have to be a student. Maybe you want to become later, but you need to get that PPA done no matter what. Right, Stephen? Now, you have to. And here are your choices. You can buy this software out there that's been around forever. In fact, Gene Quinn, I think, wrote the first one for LegalZoom years and years ago. But I told Gene, whatever you do for us has to be great. And we know what, we know what that is because we, we get those licensing deals all the time because our students submit well-written right, provisional patent applications. So Gene went above board, spent a lot of time, and did it right. It's like, it's mm -hmm. like a program on steroids. He did a it's great, he did a great job with it. He did a fantastic job. He did a great job. job. You guys, yeah. 
So I'm telling you right now, if, if you've been following us and you need a provisional patent application, and you all do if you're going to start submitting ideas, I want you to check it out. It's Smart IP by InventRight. It's $99. That's what it is. You know what it costs, Andrew? What would it cost if you hired an attorney to do this? And guess what? I don't think they would do it as well as you can do it because you have to be the expert and you have to do your own homework, right? So why is it? If, if you were one of the patent attorneys, Stephen, I would, I would speculate two or $3,000 to file a provisional patent. Some patent attorneys, they want to make more money out of you out of the gate. So they'll say, oh, no, I only write provisionals when they're written like full utility patents. They can charge as much as five or six thousand dollars for that. They'll say, "Oh, it'll be cheaper later," you know, if we need to upgrade that since I wrote it like that. So it can be very, very expensive. Um, so, and just so to be just to be clear, you still need to pay the patent office filing fee of sixty-five dollars. But, damn, that's pretty cheap. Well, they're going to get their money, so you have to do your own. You have to pay for that extra fee to the USPTO. It's sure. ninety-nine dollars. Please check it out, you guys. Even check out Gene Quinn. This guy's the best. And it took a long time to do this. Our students are using it. It's a wonderful thing. You have access now for the first time to it, too. So anyway, who's here? Stephen Key, Andrew Krauss, talking about intellectual property, talking about licensing your products, talking about getting good protection that you absolutely have to have. It gives you one year to shop your idea around to companies to get those potential licensees. Licensees say, yes, we want your idea because you have a well-written provisional patent application by what? By what's the name of it again? Smart IP. And so just go to inventright.com. You can learn more about the Smart IP provisional patent filing system and everything else we do. There's a lot of good free stuff on the website too, so check it out. All right. Thanks, everybody. Stephen Keir, Andrew Krauss. Keep watching and subscribe to it and share it with your friends. Take care. Keep inventing. Catch up with you next time. Hi, this is Stephen Key, and I just want to thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please, subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.